When I grew up in, in the Friesland, in the north of Holland, of course I've never had an encounter in the wild with an elephant. Uh, all I knew about them was from seeing them in a zoo. Um, I was also never a big fan of zoos. I always refused to go to zoos because I thought it was sad for animals, so it has started very young, <laughs> the fight for animals. A friend of mine had told me about this place, Elephant Watch, and about Oria and Ian and Saba and Frank and, um, and the amazing work they do. I was very lucky to have spent a large portion of my childhood uh, living in the bush in Tanzania. Uh, my parents were the first people to study wild African elephants. I started tracking elephants in 1969. I've been doing it on and off ever since. What's special about them is, is that they have such character and personality. And as you get to know them and spend time with them over the years, you see all of the difficulties that they go through. Elephants have an emotional intelligence. When you sit with elephants, you feel it by looking at them, the way they behave with each other the time they take to respond. It looks as if they're really figuring things out. They're real drama queens, and they feel things on a, on a huge scale. And they share many emotions in common with us, including complex emotions like empathy and compassion. The challenges for elephants are, are very hard. They, they, it's such an enormous problem. Right now, we're in the middle of an ivory crisis. It's the second great holocaust of elephants that I've witnessed during my 50 years in the field. The first was in the 70s and 80s and it decimated Africa's elephants. The second is right now. And we're seeing in most of Africa where the elephants live, diminishing numbers, increasing counts in the ongoing body count of dead elephants, and more and more of those bodies we see have been killed by man, illegally. I think people don't know that, um, you know, the, the things that happen to elephants just for ivory, it's so crazy, and I think, and also the only enemies that elephants have are human beings. Ivory is for elephants. It's not to make people look pretty, not to make people seem rich. It's for elephants. By now, we should realize, you know, that we, should, that we have to stop this. I really want to make a difference together to save elephants and uh, we spread the word. And, you know, a fire started in me and I think it's, a, it's another kind of life that has started. And I think ha taking the kids and my husband, I think that's an importance as well, that the kids see that it's so necessary and that they, that they see the wild how it's supposed to be. very emotionally traumatic for a baby to lose its mother. And quite often, uh, when poaching has been bad, we've found little babies who've been left in the sun for days on end, very badly sunburned, um, terribly dehydrated. And we've been in a position where we've had to rescue them and you know, had this amazing opportunity to get them down to Nairobi to the Sheldrick Elephant, Elephant Orphanage. Poaching has been terrible in recent years, and it's a reason that, uh, you know, we are with 29 orphaned elephants in the nursery today. Most of what you see are as a result of poaching. It's, uh, it's heartbreaking. When they're, when they're orphaned incredibly young, just like one's own children, they don't really remember, and, you know, they latch on to just about anybody as mum. But it's the ones that are orphaned a little older, six months, to 14 months we find are the ones that mourn the longest. Well, being here makes you feel sad and happy at the same time because you feel sad when you see them and the injuries they've had, but then it makes you also realize that they have a better future once they're here and they have, a, um, they have somewhere else to go to and go back into the wild. And when I first held my, ba my baby, I was like, this is the most important thing, you know, and, and all of a sudden, um, you see life so different. You do everything within the back of your mind, your, your babies and your family. I think if I didn't have kids, it would have maybe been different. It's, it's, it's an extra push that I want my kids to have a, have a beautiful world, to have elephants in the wild. And I think that, you know, when they walk past you, 
um, and they look at you, you feel there is this mutual recognition of intelligence that happens.